Hello, everybody. And welcome back to another episode of Metro Exodus. Oh, yes. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green. Yeah, I know. I saw that ravine. Fed me the usual lies about the spies and whatnot. Okay, I think After I did all those to. years in the underground. The air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau. If we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller. And we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed? That we'll get some answers? Probably close to zero, but that's a chance I'm willing to take, I think. Also, I need to pull my mic up a little bit because it's a little bit far away. I don't know if it's picking up as it's supposed to be or not. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Oh, okay. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! No, I think we're alright. I think they're okay. Okay, away we go. Are you alright, Artyom? How bad is it? Can we move? No. Sorry, hold on a second. Okay. Oh, we're stuck! Oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Let me take a wild guess this as uh, who's gonna have to go investigate. That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there. Even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Fuck you. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. And taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna. You cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with our team too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our well, situation. Well, I would be all right with you that. To take a step away from the Let's road. go, Artyom. These two uh, can hold okay. just fine. I fucking hate every single person on here, except for that guy who just volunteered himself. He's cool. He's fine. Also, I apologize. My uh, my mic is being really weird right now. It's being really like picking up really loud and picking up really quiet at the same time. So I'm just trying to make sure I'm not blasting your all's eardrums out. It doesn't come with crafting materials though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Careful is my middle name. Alright, let's fucking go. 
And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Uh huh. Yeah. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies by conviction or out no. of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Okay, listen to me. I know what our mission is, but you know what our real mission is, right? It's finding collectibles. Okay, I don't care about anything else we've been told to do. I'm looking for collectibles. What the hell is that? <laughs> okay. Oh. Is that thing coming over here? No, I don't think it's... No, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. The dirtier your weapon gets, the more its performance degrades. Okay. Well, shouldn't it just be simple, like, wiping it off to clean it off? I don't know where she went. Oh, there she is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well. This is going really well so far. This is a really good start to this episode, I think. Well, I gotta that's say, all. that was one flimsy roadblock. Also, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. It's kind of quiet. And those guys. Well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. No. Fuck. I almost did it again. That's okay. Basically, my options are treat everyone as enemies or treat everyone as my friend. I don't know which I want to do yet. I don't know what I just got, but I got it. Oh my god. Is that my Geiger counter going up? What the hell is that? Put the mask on just in case. Nah, you should be alright. I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. Oh, okay. Walking really slow. No need to be quiet. They already know we're here. We've 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 blew through their barricade. They know that we're here. Wouldn't tell you that for no reason. Something's about to attack us. That's crazy. What happened to the bird? Where'd it go? Okay, hardcore time. Hold on a minute. Excuse me for a moment. Excuse me. Yeah, there's something glowing over there. I feel inclined to investigate. But I want to check everything out over here first. I'm a loot gremlin that knows there's loot to be found, so I will be taking everything that is not nailed down. Artyom, there's a boat at the dock. Get over here when you're done. I don't know if this is better or not. 
No, take this. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I know that there's a way to make things. No, put that away. Nice, not what I meant to do. Uh. Well, I mean, it's probably in controls. Yeah, inventory. Backpack, hold I. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, guns, yeah. Yeah, put it on. Yeah. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is, I like this. Nice. Nice. Got a suppressor on it now, so hopefully it does, uh, I mean, I know it'll do less damage, but hopefully it's not, like, terrible. Also, can I, it said I can, like, clean weapons or something. How do I do that? Don't know. Well, it, we're, we're fine for it. It's not a concern. I just didn't know if it was going to come dirty or not. Away we go. I need to be on the lookout for, uh, weapon things, though. Oh, wait, there's something glowy over here. I also could have just walked in over here. That's okay. This was more fun. Uh, I'll go there in a minute. Let me look around the rest of this place first. We search the hole downstairs, and then I'll go up. There's a dead guy in here. Okay. Okay, cool. Good. I love how she's just waiting for me, like... And she's just so used to it at this point that she's just like, yeah. I just know to take five minutes out of, you know... If it's a five-minute walk, it's really gonna be a 45-minute walk. And nothing else? I guess not. Oh, you're fine. Walk it off. I only have a little bit of ammo in this gun, so, uh... Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm safe. Oh, okay, cool, thanks. Your job sounds a lot easier than mine does. Yep, yeah, uh-huh. I'm glad everybody in this fucking train likes to shit on me so much. That's very cool of you guys. Okay, well, if you're just gonna be sitting in the watchtower, uh, I guess I'll go loot. There's another gun. Is it better than the one I have? Maybe. I'm not taking it, though. I've already swapped guns. <laughs> Alright. Boat time. <laughs> Feels so quiet today. I don't know why. Alright. Away we go. I see enemies over there. I'm just gonna try and avoid them. I'm still trying to, but. I'm just come up over here. Ah. 
<laughs> oh man, all right. Time to go. There's stuff in here. Uh, looks like you've been spotted. Artyom, there's a woman on that bell tower waving a rag or something. Please investigate. I'm not gonna shoot her. I don't know if she's good or I not. I see people at the church. None seem to be armed. We'd better try the open approach. Let's not fire first, okay? Yeah, definitely. I promise I will be very good and do no bad things. Uh-huh. Yep. I say that. I, I genuinely probably will, though. I, I kind of like playing the good guy. Who knows, though? Depends on whether or not these people appease me with taxes or if I'm going to have to just go in guns blazing. Guess we'll see. How the hell do I get across? You've already given me the spiel. I already know. Yay. I just swim across the water? The fuck is that? Okay, nice. That was not what I meant to do. Uh, okay, that's gonna be a no. I don't really see any other paths. You fucking idiot. How can you not swim? How can you not swim? You're telling me you are in the military and you've never learned to swim. Okay, buddy. I have to... Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Do I have to continue to boat? I don't think so. I guess technically there is a way to, though. Yeah, fuck it. We'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, I'll just come back over here. Back it up a little bit. Alright, keep going. Oh. Turn. Yeah, keep going. Keep it going, keep it going. This is seeming like it's working. I don't know where to pull up. There's a guy over here. And a kid. Our father, Salantius, has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. So please keep your weapons shielded and welcome. Um, there's a button for that. I don't remember which one. How do I put it away? No, no, no. Let's be careful here. We don't want to kill people. Nice, okay. Uh, options. Help a brother out. How do I put my gun away? Holster. Hold H. I just did that. He's just holding it below him. Okay, what if I did this? Nope, okay. I guess we're rowing all the way in. Alright, let's go. Places to be and things to do. Oh boy, we found a cult. <laughs> Hit the kid with the oar.
Oh boy. Let's go ahead and heal. Okay, I'm not gonna shoot unless I have to. It doesn't seem like I have to yet. They've just trapped me in wood. No, God, put the gun away. I can't believe this. I had all but lost hope. We're not from here either. Silantius locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! I, a way I'm, down stuck. Here I'm, stuck. A I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I cannot move. Okay. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. I don't feel like these people are gonna make it out. Do I get to pick my path? No, I don't. Okay, never mind. Oh, there's a guy over there. All right, I don't think that killing and not killing people affects my good rating. So I'm just gonna fucking murder people. I, I don't really care. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Give me your gun. Okay, uh, no survivors is kind of my motto right now, so I'm gonna try and kill as many of them as I can. What's up here? Fuck you. No, okay. His gun fell. Hey, guys, it's safe to come. You can, you follow me. Oh my god. Where'd they go? I killed him. You can follow me. What are you doing? Alright. That's okay. Well, if we kill all of them, they can just follow us out. I don't think he saw us. I think we're okay. Okay, I see him. I don't think he sees us. I want to kill him, though. Okay. I think we I think we can get the drop on him from behind. Observe. So many of them. Now the question is, do I go and, and just shoot them? They can technically... They can technically see me, right? Okay. Let's do this the logical way. Let's go, let's go around the long way. Let's go around the long way. I don't even know where I am supposed to go. Alright, hold on a minute. So, did you see him or not? I don't get it. Oh, excuse me. Who you are? I'm just. I wish you just shot me. I'm just looking around. My daughter and my son are dead. 
Zlatius wouldn't let us treat them. Katia, that ex-nurse, she said she could help them, but Salantius would rather let them die slowly. Vanya was smiling when he died. He said his sister was calling out to him, and she'd been dead for two days already. Yeah, fuck this life. Just shoot me already. Come on, shoot me. I feel like I was doing this guy a favor, all right? I, I think this was the right thing to do. I think this was the right thing to do. Now, the game might not agree with me, but I think I think we did the right... I think this was the right call, guys. I think this was the right call. <laughs> Uh, he was asking me to. He was literally asking me to. Hey, if they say you worship the devil. Yeah, that's right. Is that true? Will you teach me? You want to come with me? I'd make a good apprentice. A really, really good one. Come with me. Come on, teach me. Come with me. Follow me. Come with me. You're like, you can, you can leave this, this crap hole. Like, you don't have to stay here. Come. I'm I'm inviting you. Please. Why are you leaving? Why? There needs to be more like uh options, like more good guy stuff in this game. Lots of traps. Okay, there's the boat over there, but I don't think my mission is done yet. Oopsie. Oh, fuck. I am stuck. I am actually genuinely stuck. Why are you so I... Okay, I'm out. I'm safe. Nope. Just, just turn around and go back. Yep. I feel like the good guy thing to do is kill these people. Oh my god. That guy had aimbot. How far back is this checkpoint? Oh, it's actually pretty close. If I hold the door, they can't get to me. I don't know how that guy lived. Oh, fuck. They've given up. I win. Okay. Time to loot. Time to loot. Time to loot. Take everything. Just mu as much as possible. No, hey, give me that back. Where are these people? 
I'm tired of sneaking around. Fuck this. Fuck you. <laughs> Give me your gun, too. There's no way in here, huh? So be it. Okay, where do I go? I think I've killed everybody. I think these I think these people are safe to leave with me. There's two boats. We have two of them. The fuck? Okay. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just running around. This way. This way. What the fuck? Where the hell do I need to go? Here? Yes. Alright, well, time to leave. Bye. Where am I going? Continuing this way. Are you alright? A shame you couldn't get away quietly, without bloodshed. They're bound to hate us even more now. Oh well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can roll straight to it from there. Where's that... That M. Or not that M. That, that thing in the top left of my screen. Like a radio? Is there a radio button? Options. Controls. Keyboard. Miscellaneous? No. Inventory... Now, I'm looking for... I guess not. I don't know. It it looks like there's, like, a radio. Like, can I radio to people? Oh, hi? <laughs> okay. I guess let's keep going. Over here. Again? <laughs> Next time, someone else come with me. A whale? It's fucking huge. 
It, that it is. How astute of you. All right, let's go. The old man sent me out as a forward sentry, told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. Uh, yeah. And holy shit, you did not disappoint. Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? I think we both know the answer to that question, bro. I have bro. to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here, though, we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. Okay. You know what? The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. Yeah, okay. Haha, <laughs> you got it. Okay, let's see. Any loot for me? Oh my god. I don't think dead bodies count. Like a camp in here. I feel so dumb. I should have landed on that field. We were still flying and it looked like we could have gone on for some time. And then that damn power man. Not really. What difference does that make anyway? We're not getting to Moscow from here. That's for sure. I don't really give a damn. I'm all alone, but the others, they have relatives there. Maybe. Maybe it's been ten years, but I could still be alive. Anyways, we'll have to make ourselves home here now, since we're alive. At least it looks like a nice place. At least it's not going to be flooded. You might be able to go to my rail later. Well, we'll have to live and see it. Hmm, interesting. All right, well, I got an upgrade for gear, it said, but aside from that, not really a whole lot over here. I don't think that thing will bother us. Oh, that's, that's an enemy. Oh, fuck. What the hell? How are you alive? Yeah. 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 I'm stuck. How are you alive? Fuck over here. Yeah. Bait him for an attack. Oh my god. Okay, there's more of them now, so... I can't even do anything with it. All of that was a waste of my time. Fuck you. Uh, yeah. I think I've read all these already. Okay, they say any landing you walk away from is good enough, but what about my case? Could have been worse, of course. Uh, the other thing can't even move. Sure, and Nick got away with just bruises, though. Nick made a splint for me or more or less put my leg back together. It sure hurts like hell. Uh, we're in a tight spot. With bogs all around, we are sure not walking to that village. Sure, saw when he, uh, saw, wait, said he saw until we at least have a path laid out. Looks like we're settling here for the time being. Good thing is that we managed to build a camp and get everyone there. The bad thing is that the plane is leaking fuel badly, so we must be quick with getting our stuff out before it catches fire. Uh, an unexpected bonus, there are no mosquitoes. There are other things. I left tracks in the mud last night, which doesn't look like anything we've ever seen. Glad we have the guns. Who knows what those things were. Better get some power in case they come at night. I wonder if we could drive that ram turbine with that bike we had in the luggage. This is a long-ass thing. All right. 
Oh my god, they got Nick. He went to take that ram turbine and they got him. Huge greenish gray praying mantis like monsters. The shotgun did nothing. Sure fired both barrels and they shot and but fuck. But shot but shot just bounced off. They were perfectly hidden as if they knew where to wait for him. Fucking monsters. Nick, we should have stayed home. We have two options. Try to get help from the village now or wait till the food runs out and try that. At least we have time to think about it. Looks like the monsters are afraid of fire and don't approach your camp while the fire's going. Sure says it's up to me. Uh, as the others are mostly drifting in and out of conscious. But how can he be so calm? I still can't get over what happened to Nick and this fever. Sure left his message. Still, that's bullshit. Just let him get to the dry land, please. Oh my god, this is such a long one. Okay. They're crawling around at night, clicking their mandibles. What an awful sound. Can't sleep. Have to get the keep have to keep the fire going. Luckily, sure I left enough firewood. The others can't move at all, but my fever's a little lower now, so. Can't stand anymore, can't sleep, we'll try walking tomorrow. I need some firewood. Sure, I goddamn it. Fucking beast, I found his backpack less than a hundred meters from the camp. Took all my speed to hobble back before they noticed me. Fucking monsters. Uh, they're crawling around, slapping, uh, splashing in the mud, clicking their claws, the sound is driving me nuts. Lucky the guys are passed out most of the time, don't bother them so much. My fever's back, don't know if I'll be able to keep this up. Not so bad with the fire crackling, really, the fever's getting worse. Uh, I don't know the date. Leg is all black, can't write, sharpened a couple sticks and gave them to the guys. Hope they can hold them. The mo monsters are getting closer. I just can't anymore. Uh, Dima, you know I have to try. I'm the only one left who can move, and we have to get help. Otherwise, the guys are as good as dead. Sit tight, and don't you dare pull a typical you like back then. See you around. All right. Ugh, sorry, I was taking a drink. I don't like the fire, huh? Okay, fuck you. I'm out of medkits. I was using them too willy-nilly, I think. This is fine. This game really likes to give out shitty loot, huh? Here's Artyom back from the abyss of NATO You're occupation. <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. All right, good talk, everybody. Artyom, stop by my desk once you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. Is that it? A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. Let's get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. 
but still so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Yes, sir. Okay. You have a prize for me? How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? No, not really, but that's fine. I have a present for you here. Yeah, give me my. Oh. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? The better than it's this. Automatic, but it still packs a wallop. I want it. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bet it with honor. <laughs> nice. And don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. Alrighty. Well, thanks for the gun. Just take a look around here. I'm not going to be able to jump off this. I, I've come to find. I was just going to run out and jump over the side, but I can't actually pull my weapons out, so. Yep. No, I was just doing laps. That was, in, that was on purpose. Alright. Yep. I mean, now that my slow jog is over. Yeah, there we go. Did you come with your husband? There were 15 of us, but now only Nasty and I are alive. Damn. What do I even do about this? Good luck. You really should move out to port zone. Shut the fuck up. Alright, I think that's where we're gonna finish this episode. So it's already about that time, and I don't want to start a next leg of this, so. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. I upload it daily at 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. As always, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you all in the next episode. So long, everybody.